Hello, thank you for the invitation to sit with our wonderful admission counselors today. Um, my name is Dr. Kathy Lewis Brim, and of course, I am the Dean of the School of Business and Public Leadership for both the Florida and Tennessee campus. I am also a professor and I pastor a local church in our area. Um, I wanted to share with you that I am a first generation student, which means that my parents did not attend college, but they definitely, as with some of you, wanted um, their children to receive an education. And so my education um, allowed me now to be involved with higher education for approximately 22 years. And I've served as a dean and professor at two private Christian universities. So currently now serving as um, the voice for Johnson University School of Business and Public Leadership at uh, Tennessee and Florida is where I am now with my career. Awesome. So now kind of leaning more towards um, the program and for our incoming students, um, could you tell us some expectations for your program? Sure, our program has actually developed in connection with the Johnson University mission. We've developed um, a mission statement ourselves as well as a vision statement. And so our mission then is to develop and disciple individuals for lives of leadership, business and Christian service within their sphere of influence. And this drives our curriculum, um, as well as far as the courses that we teach. And then our vision is to transform communities and shape the future by developing exceptional business leaders and scholars who exemplify Christ-centered leadership. And so the expectations of our program then is that our students will understand that we, um, we have such an intentional focus on understanding and connecting with the mission statement of extending the kingdom of God. And we are that strategic vocation piece of the mission statement. So we expect our students to come in knowing that um, they will be taking Bible classes, but there's such a strong connection of those Bible courses and how we are to conduct ourselves as Christians and leaders in the world of work. So I know you kind of mentioned taking those Bible courses um, what does that look like for a JOFL student coming in, you know, their first year? Well, the first year, our students can expect to, um, there's a 33 credit hour Bible curriculum, and 11 of your credit hours will be, I'm sorry, 11 of your courses will be towards um, interacting in those Bible classes. Those courses will be spread out over the four-year process of graduating from Johnson University. So um, you won't have to dive in hard. So that, you know, don't be afraid that maybe I've never taken a formal Bible class. I know about Jesus, I attend church, um, but we have such an intentional, again, way of immersing our students and helping them develop spiritually. And so then in connection with that, we come alongside those courses with our business courses so that we can strengthen you and develop you in the areas of your passion. How would you say um, this could create an opportunity to be successful? Well, definitely um, in the world of work, I, I tell you, one of the things that we're seeing a lot and which contributes to a lot of why our economy goes into recession and depression is because um, people who are currently engaged in business, they look at it from the bottom line is to make a profit. And we understand in business that in order to be uh, sustainable, you have to be profitable and you need to make a profit. But there is a correct way, there is a Christian way that we can achieve um, profitability um, by doing things the way that God would want us to do business. And so we teach our students how to think from that perspective, from the Christian perspective, leading others in the world of work to make right decisions so that we represent Christ. Awesome, that's great. Um, what is, you know, in your program, obviously, students are gonna have to do an internship. So could you talk a little bit like when during their, their process of going to school and graduating, when would they do that internship and maybe some opportunities that um, they could do their internship in? Yes, our students generally take their internship um, during their summer of their junior year. If you want to start a little bit earlier, that's fine. We will work with you. We just prefer that you 
um, have taken quite a few business courses before you go into that internship. That way there's a closer relationship between what you've learned in the classroom and now what you're um, applying in the world of work and hearing in the world of work. You'll feel better um, if we wait to that point where we've seen that you've um, again, completed successfully some of our core business classes. So that usually happens in the summer of the junior year, but again, it can happen at any given time. Um, we work closely with our students um, as far as internships. We don't dictate where that needs to occur. We engage our students by asking them to seek for those opportunities because they may already know um, businesses that they would like to function within. And, and again, we come along with them and help them make that um, a success. There are business students who want to do their internships in churches. Um, we recently have a student here on uh, the Florida campus. A church is um, beginning to uh, tra church plant and he wants to be on the cutting edge of that. And so he's conducting his internship with um, a church who's doing a church plant. Part of it is right at Johnson University. And so he gets to help launch that using his business skills. Uh, we have students who are going out into um, the secular world who will be doing internships there, um, working with local organizations, both large corporate and both and mom and pop and nonprofit. So there are many opportunities for our students um, to pursue their interests without us saying where you need to intern, but to, to participate and collaborate with us on where they want that to take place. That's great. Um... So coming off the internship, which is obviously kind of like your first preparation for a career, um, where do you have recent graduates or where have you seen graduates go on to work with your the degree from your program? Well, our students gain employment in many areas um, because if you really think about it, there isn't a single job that doesn't require some type of business skill. So we are interwoven into every industry, even in the church, our students are working. So I've seen students work at theme parks. I've seen students work in nonprofits. I don't wanna be specific with the names, but they are engaging in nonprofit organizations. Now I will say that one of our students is establishing an internship with the Orlando Magic locally here in Florida. And so um, it just, the opportunities are massive. And it's simply because they need business people everywhere in every industry. And so since that is, there is that possibility, we can um, provide those opportunities for our students. So you've given a lot of information about your program, but now I wanna give you an opportunity to kind of brag on your program a little bit. Um, so what have you heard from either students or others that say, you know, what is the best thing about your program? Well, it's hard to say one thing um, if, if I want to brag, um, but I do want to share that um, when I'm in the classroom and I know with our other professors, our professors come from backgrounds of actually doing the work in a corporate environment or in a, a small business environment. So when we're teaching, we're not just teaching from a textbook that we learn material from, we have the experience. And so when we're able to share our professional experiences with our students and, and share that link, bridge the gap between textbook and practitioner experience, that's what our students have enjoyed the most, to know that this really does happen in work. I'm not just reading it, doing busy work. This happens because it happened to Dr. Brim or it happened to Dr. Brown or it happened to one of my other professors. We make it come to life for them. And so that textbook becomes not just um, scholarly knowledge, it becomes real world scenarios for our students. Now, I know you said one thing, Griffin, but I have to share this to brag about our program that beginning this fall, we're going to begin our four plus one BA um, to MBA program. And it's where our students in their junior and senior year, if they're deemed eligible, um, have, the, have met the requirements, they can take dual credits and receive credit towards their bachelor and their master's degree, which means you can literally complete a bachelor's and a master's in business administration within five years, saving time, saving money. We are so excited about this opportunity. That's awesome. Thank you so much, Dr. Brim, for your time. We appreciate it. Um, and you know, we look forward to 
hopefully the students coming on campus and being a part of your program. I am so excited and looking forward to Andrea and Griffin. Thank you so much for the opportunity to share about our program. What I like to really tell our students is that our business administration program is designed so that students who have a passion for business can also connect and intersect that with their passion for Jesus. We look forward to seeing new students who share that perspective. Mm.